Okay, taking a look at some graphs in quick motion here, we're going to look at uh, these graphs and think about the first derivative. So on the very top left, you can see on that graph, if I were to draw in the um, horizontal tangent line, it's going to be a nice flat line going straight across it. And the slope of that line is going to be zero, meaning the first derivative would be zero at that. And you'll notice we get a maximum when the first derivative is equal to zero. The same thing is true at that minimum in the middle. All right, again, the first derivative is equal to zero. Let's take a look at the bottom left. We get a maximum down there, but the derivative is undefined. All right, because we have one slope on this side and a negative slope on this side, they don't sort of come together and match up. So whenever you get a sharp corner like this, we say that's undefined. So maximums can happen when you have an undefined first derivative. We would also say the same thing about that middle one. It too is undefined. And we get a minimum. All right, so these local extrema seem to be occurring either when the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. All right, but let's think about f prime in the top right and the bottom right. On each of those, the derivative is also undefined. but we don't get maximums or minimums. All right, the same could be true like on our previous example with the x cubed graph. The derivative was equal to zero at zero. If we looked at this one up here. Horizontal tangent line going across there, but it doesn't produce a maximum or minimum. All right, so we have a few rules to get to on this. Maximums and minimums can only occur if the first derivative is either equal to zero or undefined. But just because it's equal to zero or undefined doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a maximum or minimum.